now that you have a research problem, the next thing that you have to do is develop research questions. A good research question is essential to guide your research paper, project, or thesis. It pinpoints exactly what you want to find out and gives your work a clear focus and purpose. All research questions should be focused on a single problem or issue. It should be researchable using primary and secondary sources and is feasible to answer within the time frame and practical constraints. It should be specific enough to answer thoroughly but at the same time complex enough to develop the answers over the space of your thesis. Lastly, it should be relevant to your field of study and society more broadly. In a research paper or essay, you will usually write a single research question to guide your reading. The answer uh, that you develop is your thesis statement, the central assertion or position that your paper, that your paper will argue for. In a bigger research project such as a thesis or dissertation, you might have multiple research questions but they should be clearly connected and focused around a central research problem. In this video, we will talk about how to write a research question, the types of research questions, and the qualities of a strong research question. Now, the process of developing your research question follows several steps. First, you have to choose a broad topic. And then, you have to do some primary reading to find out about the topical debates and issues surrounding your topic. And then, you have to narrow down a specific niche that you want to focus on. Also, uh, you have to identify a practical or theoretical research problem that you will have to address. When you have a clearly defined problem, you need to formulate one or more questions out of, these prob out of this problem. Think about exactly what you want to know and how will it, contributes, will it contribute to resolving the problem. For example, if you have uh, a research problem that asks for uh, the factors predicting online learning self-efficacy, you may want to ask the research question, do well-being elements, personality traits, and grit predict online learning self-efficacy? Uh, furthermore, if your research problem goes uh, like this, determine uh, the relationship between mental health stigma and help-seeking behaviors among teens with mental health issues, you may want to ask the question, is there a significant relationship between mental health stigma and, and help-seeking behaviors among teens with mental health issues? Now. You have to remember that both qualitative and quali quantitative research require research questions. The kind of research question you use depends on what you want to find out about the, uh, uh, you want to find out and the type of research uh, you want to do. It shapes your research design that you will have to formulate in the future. This table here shows some of the most common types of research question. Now, bear in mind that many academic research questions will be more complex than these examples. Often, they or you will have to combine two or more types. So, for a descriptive research, you may want to ask the question, what are the online learning self-efficacy scores of the participants. On the other hand, for a comparative research, well, this also works for experimental research, you may want to ask the question, is there a significant difference in the online learning scores between participants in the treatment and the control group? For a correlational research, you may want to ask the question, what is the relationship between grit and online learning self-efficacy? 
Equally, you can also ask the question, is there a significant relationship between grit and online learning self-efficacy? For research researches of exploratory kind, uh, you can ask the question, what are the main factors in online learning self-efficacy? Or you can ask the question, what is the role of grit in online learning self-efficacy? Lastly, for explo explanatory researches, however, these questions can also be used for experimental researches. You can ask the question, does GRIT have an effect on online learning self-efficacy? Equally, you can ask the question, what is the impact of GRIT on online learning self-efficacy? Now, writing questions isn't a difficult task in itself but it can be hard to work out if you have a good research question. Research questions anchor your whole, re uh, your whole project, so it's important to spend some time refining them. Now, the criteria here can help you um, evaluate the strength of your research questions. So, for uh, we are going to look at qualities of, uh, of strong research questions. For each quality, we will look at uh, we will look at several criteria. We will start by looking at uh, uh, the quality of being focused and researchable. Now, uh, your research question should or questions should be focused on a single topic and problem. Your central research question uh, should follow from your research problem to keep your work focused. If you have multiple questions, you have to make sure that they should uh, that they all clearly relates to this central aim. The second criterion under this quality is that it should be answerable using primary or secondary data. You must be able to find an answer by collecting quantitative or qualitative data or by reading uh, scholarly sources on the topic to develop an argument. If such data is impossible to access, you will have to rethink your question and ask something more concrete. Number three is that it uh, uh, should not ask for a subjective value judgment. You have to avoid subjective words such as good, bad, better, or worse, as this uh, do not give clear criteria for asking, uh, for asking questions. If your question is evaluating something, you have to use terms with more measurable definitions. Uh, for example, the question is X or Y a better policy is not a measurable question. A better option to this is to ask the question, how effective are X and Y policies at reducing rates of Z? Lastly, uh, it, should not ask, uh, it should not ask why. You have to understand that why questions are usually too open to serve as good research questions. There are often so many possible causes that a research problem cannot give a thorough answer. You may want to ask what or how questions instead. So, instead of asking why does uh, X occur, you may want to ask the question, what are the main factors contributing to X? Or, how is X influenced by Y? So, to make sure that your research is uh, research question that is is both feasible and specific, you have to consider three criteria. The first of which uh, should uh, the first of which s says that your research question should be answerable within practical constraints. You have to make sure you have enough time and resources to do the research required to answer the question. If you think you might struggle to gain access to enough data, consider narrowing down the research question to be more specific. Uh, the second criterion is that it should use specific, well-defined concepts. 
all the terms you use in the research question should have clear meanings. You may want to avoid vague language and broad ideas and be clear about what who, where, when, and, uh, and when your question addresses. Instead of asking what effect does social media have on people's mind, you may want to make it more specific and ask the question, what effect does daily use of Twitter have on the attention span of under 16s? Lastly, it should not ask for a conclusive solution, policy, or course of action. Research is about informing and not instructing. Even if your project is focused on a practical problem, it should aim to provide or improve understanding and suggest possibilities rather than asking for ready-made solution. Instead of asking what should the government do about low voter turnout, you may want to ask the question what are the most effective communication strategies for increasing voter turnout among under 30s. So, to make your research question both complex and arguable, you have to consider three more criteria. The first of which is that it cannot be answered by yes or no. You have to understand that closed yes or no questions are too simple to work as good research questions. They do not provide enough scope for investigation and discussion. Um, the, the, the question, has there been an increase in homelessness in the Philippines in the past 10 years, is not a good, uh, is not a, a, a research question that is complex enough. You may want to ask the question, how have economic and political factors affected patterns of homelessness in the Philippines over the past 10 years? The second criterion is that it cannot be answered with easily found facts and figures. If you can answer your question through a Google search or by reading a single book or article, it is probably not complex enough. A good research question requires original data, synthesis of multiple sources, interpretation, and argument to provide an answer. Lastly, it should provide scope for debate and deliberation. Now, the answer to the question should not just be a simple statement of fact. There uh, needs to be a space for you to discuss the interpretation uh, and interpret what you have found. This is especially important uh, uh, on, a re on a research paper where the answer to your question often takes the form of an argument, uh, an argumentative thesis statement. Lastly, uh, in order to make your research paper relevant and original, it should, uh, number one, address a problem relevant to your field or discipline. Now, the research question or questions should be developed based on initial readings around your topic and it should focus on addressing a problem or gap in the existing knowledge. Secondly, it should contribute to a topical, uh, social, or academic debate. Now, the question should aim to contribute to an existing debate. Ideally, one that is current in your field or in society at large. It should produce knowledge that future researchers or practitioners can build on. Lastly, it should be a topic that ha uh, it should ask a question or your question should, uh, not, uh, should be one that has not already been answered. You don't have to ask something groundbreaking that nobody has ever thought of before. But your question should have some aspect of originality. For example, by focusing on a specific location or taking a new angle on a long uh, running debate by uh, either using a, a, a new method uh, for gathering data or, or using existing data 
and uh, and uh, and using existing data but analyzing them using a particularly new uh, analysis method so um, you have to understand that a good research question is essential to guide your research paper project or thesis it pinpoints exactly what you want to find out and gives your work a clear focus and purpose by following the guides provided in this video you will be able to write strong research questions that will guide the rest of your thesis again this has been Dex Kamitan and thank you for watching